How's it going YouTube? Alcatraz 2 over here. Uh, I just want to share with you um, six issues of National Geographic that I've come across. Um, I have them right over here in front of me. Um, the latest is from March 2004 and going back June 1978. And if it's going to amaze you a bit, uh, November 1919, August 1919, July 1918, and October 1915. Now, if you're Armenian, maybe uh, those dates or the time frame specifically in the 1900s might ring a bell for you. Um, they're important for me because they depict Armenian genocide. And in a very correct historical factual way and um, the two over here um, the latest from March 2004 it's the, the article in the National Geographic is titled Armenia Reborn um, the one from June 1978 is titled The Proud Armenians and the articles in these four um, are titled something else, as you may have already guessed. Um, they're about the Armenian genocide that took place on April 24, 1915. And it was really hard to get my hands on these, as you have probably guessed, they're almost 100 years old. So I had to contact a few people on eBay, and I was lucky enough to come across uh, Mike, who shipped one of them out, and another individual by the name of Bill, who uh, who also shipped three of them out, and they shipped it out, and you know, an amazing you know packaging. That's why I got them. Most of these issues, I'm surprised they're in mint condition. And um, I'll go ahead and I'll share with you the the titles of some of these articles in each one of these National Geographic magazines. And it's pretty amazing that I actually have the uh, physical National Geographics in hand. I know digital copies of these are available out there, but it's, it's, it's something totally different when you actually have a historical piece that depicts something that a lot of people don't really want to talk about nowadays. So anyways, um, here's the, the oldest, October 1915, and the article is titled Armenia and the Armenians. Um, the second to oldest is July 1918, and uh, the article is titled Under the Heel of the Turk. How many times do you see something titled that nowadays? And the third to oldest um, National Geographic magazine is uh, from August 1919, titled Between Massacres in Vaughan, and the fourth to oldest um, National Geographic magazine, an article, is from November 1919, titled, um, The Land of the Stocking Death. I mean, who will write that nowadays? And the, the two more modern National Geographics, over here, as you can see, there's a big difference between almost a hundred year old one and one that's maybe a max let's see one is from 78 and another one's from 2004 you, you can already see the color discoloration and everything but um, these are more uh, these are awesome National Geographic's depicting you know the recovery we've made and, and you know the the contributions we're making all across the world they're more positive uh, articles that also depict the genocide but more more or less depict who we are despite that the great the great people we are and how we've managed to stay so strong and so powerful throughout the years so I'll be doing something really interesting with these stay tuned um, now is a little too early to talk about what I'm gonna do with these and the history presented in all of them but um, just want to share with you I don't really make videos like this but I thought the Armenian community or anyone else out there that's really interested in Armenian genocide and really wants to find factual proof that it did in fact exist it's over here it, it, it's in it's in paperwork it's in magazines it's depicted in articles where people really didn't give a shit what you thought or, or what who else thought there's no NATO back then there's no self-righteous politics I mean there was a little bit of everything 
but this was a time where people liked to write about the truth and something we don't really come across nowadays. So, like I said, stay tuned. I'm going to do something really interesting with them and I hope you enjoy it. Alright.